Saturday Market has been a strong part of the city's social and business fabric. Since 1974, it's given artists, craftspeople, and musicians a place to sell their wares. Let's catch up with Reed Decker, Promotions Coordinator at Portland Saturday Market, and see what's happening. Johnny Lang, it's so great to meet you. I'm just curious, I'm sure a lot of people are curious, who lied to you? <laughs> <laughs> There's so much passion behind behind those vocals. I mean, I've tried to sing it in my car, it's impossible. I mean, how do you get that out of there? <laughs> well, I, that's one that I did not write. So. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, that's awesome, we got the truth, that's yeah, great. So Hello everybody, Nicole DaCosta here. So excited to be sitting down with Deep Chopra. Thank you so much for joining us today. Today's guests, Jylene Eubanks, actor, model, and a newly crowned Mrs. Oregon International, and Nicole DaCosta, accomplished TV host, journalist, and musician, and me, your host, Francine Rafton. I took so many business classes first semester, and I'm like, you know what? <laughs> I'd rather do TV and newspaper type stuff. You know? I did the same thing. Oh nope. my gosh, that first math class, I was like, where am I? You know, I was just a little bit nervous. It was yeah, like in I hear foreign that. Country. But um, you have to have those experiences mm -hmm. to kind of figure out what you want to do. Hut, hut. Nicole DaCosta out here in Portland, Oregon. She's here. She's here. It's Nicole DaCosta. Nicole, talk to us. How are you? Good. What's up, basketball fans? Nicole DaCosta bringing it live from the stands. We are going to have a lot of fun tonight. Japan back in town, but hey, we have not lost a game on our home court. What's up, Mike Ward? There is a reason there is a one on his jersey tonight, and he told me he's feeling pretty good. Feeling good? Yes, yeah, feeling great. We've got Nikki DaCosta with us. What do we see, Nikki? Thanks, guys. We're keeping the energy high. Just because we're ahead doesn't mean we're going to slow down at all. These guys are bringing it all game long. Lots of sweat hitting the court, lots of smiling faces, and uh, a great halftime show. I wish you guys could have seen it. Hey, it's 817. Let's have, head over to Andy Carson. For now, here's Nicole with your seven-day forecast. Portland, it was very cold this morning when I got to the studio, but looking at the week, Tuesday we are at 50, and I see some sunshine there. Wednesday, 52. Thursday, a high of 52. Friday, 50. Saturday, I'm moving along, 48. Sunday, we are at 44. Let's do a little dance. Oh, and nice. And Monday, it's colder, Andy. What's going on with that? Oh, don't ask me. You're the weather person right now. 40 degrees. I'm going to have to get a new outfit. But Portland, stay tuned with Andy. You're in good hands this morning. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Look at that. Now, now toss it to uh, Wild Man Danny. Oh. Wild Man Danny, it's off to you. Yeah. We got it. Thank you, Nicole. Things are looking good out there. One <laughs> I'm Nicole DaCosta with PD Exposed out here at Wildwood on Northwest 21st Avenue in Portland. And today, we're talking about all things cheesy. Tillamook cheese, that is. Stop the presses! I've always wanted to say that. Tonight for Entertainment Zone Goes to Work, we're following newspaper reporter Nicole DaCosta. She reports for the Westland Tidings. Hello, I'm Nicole DaCosta, a local newspaper reporter with the Westland Tidings and Lake Oswego Review newspapers. Come on inside and I'll show you what an average day is like. So excited. I'm out here at Mother Maybell's here in Northeast Portland, 28th and Gleason. Tonight is Tuesday night, which means it's trivia night, people. Good morning, everyone. It is July 1st. We are saying goodbye to June. Goodbye. Yes. We're, what a way to do it, man. It's sunny outside. It's nice. We have another special viewer co-host. Hi, everybody. Hey. Nicole DaCosta. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Thank wow. you, guys. She just did. What is that? I'm excited. Happened? On Monday, Justin McBride. How are you? Very, very well, Justin. Now, I say performing because you're going to be singing uh, tonight, but uh, not doing the bull riding that we all know you for. Right, yeah. No, I, I retired uh, from the bull riding side of things in, in uh, 2008. Right. And and uh, started going out and playing music now. And you're a real cowboy, fifth generation from Oklahoma. Yeah, you know what? It, uh, you know, I don't, I don't wear the hat and boots just because it's cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it looks cool, but yeah, this is legitimate. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> I'm Nicole DaCosta from Portland, Oregon, and I'm so excited to see what the finished product of this house is going to look like. We've done it three times before this, and we're excited for for this one. It's already packed, and we just got it started. I mean, people want to help out. Dove Lewis Emergency Animal Hospital. So do we. You're going to help us co-host this segment, right? Awesome. You're going to talk to the bands. Uh -huh. 
All right, the moment we've all been waiting for. We're here with Black and Blue. Thanks so much, you guys. It's yeah, a big night for you guys. Now tell me, this band was uh, instrumental with your career. You know, we all you know, graduated from high school, and we got this band together, which was a great band. And we made something happen, you know. For some people that don't know, Tommy Thayer, now lead guitarist in KISS, and you've had a couple projects going on as well. Warrant for four years, is that correct? That is correct. I was lead singing for Warrant. I uh, replaced the original singer for a while. And, uh, yeah, I, I stayed busy. I still rock. <laughs> he still rocks, just in case you guys were wondering. Rock and roll never dies. I'm Nicole DaCosta. We're out here at the Newmark Theater for the Oregon Music Hall of Fame ceremony. I'm so excited to be here. We just came across Sam Henry, who's being inducted tonight. Now, what are you being honored for tonight, exactly? Uh, as a sideman, uh, musician, been in a lot of bands, a drummer. You're a drummer. Excellent. What's your best drummer face? What's my best drummer face? Uh, <laughs> I like it. You've got the hair. You're kind of like animal on the Muppet Babies, huh? This is it. Yeah. I'm here with Linda Hornbuckle, a name we hear all over Portland. It's been, how long have you been performing around town? It's been about 30 years plus. <laughs> we'll go over that. It's I love when people say plus. It's like, you know. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming out tonight. And one thank more you. totally personal question. What perfume are you wearing? Oh, it's a Victoria's Secret. Nicole DaCosta hanging out here in beautiful Portland, Oregon, and look who I just ran into. It's Laura Roder, you guys. Nicole DaCosta, give it up for Nicole, our MC tonight here. Oh, oh. Welcome to Portland's Grand Ball, bringing in 2013. I'm Nicole DaCosta, Portland's personality plus here to make sure you guys have a good New Year's Eve. Does that sound okay to you guys? Right in the lobby and down the stairs, lots of fun music there too. 